Awesome. So this is a sentence you read in the past. Um, can you read it for me and tell me what it means? Uh, mm, wait, I'm sorry. When can something happen? Hmm. Ah, okay. Ore wa go kuri totsu 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 ba onomi gonda. Ore wa gobri to tsuba. Gobri to tsuba o nomi konda. Hi. So gokuri to? This to tells us this is an adverb. So, and we have gokuri, which is a sound effect. So it's modifying the nomi komu as a nomi komu in a gokuri kind of way. And Hai. he gokuri's tsuba, which is spit. Hi. Ore wa gokiri to tsuba o nomikonda. I swallow my spit. Gop, gop. Gokuri? Yep. Like I, I gulp down my spit might be how we'd say that in English. Yes. So he, he's eating and he just spit. heard this guy telling him that. <laughs> so he swallow. <laughs> so, something like that will be occurring in the next line. That is correct. Um. So let's go read the next line. Eh, etsu. Uh, this is small too, so eh. Eh, ore wa kuchi no naka no mono o gokuri to nomikonda. Hi. So he say, it say, uh, ore wa ai kuchi no naka no, um, in the, in the middle of my mouth. In in my in the mouth in the mouth hi mono a thing the thing in the mouth go kiri <laughs> I swallow I gulp the thing that was in my mouth yeah which is probably potatoes right oi see the my mono um do you remember how this guy's read odoroki perfect odoroki da um can you read this word for me kiga suru do you happen to know what kiga suru means. To be aware, to realize something. Yeah, it kiga. That's ki ki kiga tsuku is to be aware of something. Kiga suru is like the feel as if something is true. Um, it doesn't have to be true, but a lot of times this will show up to be kind of like, hmm, I, I something's fishy. Kiga suru kind of some kind of sensing is going on. Ah, uh, okay. Um, a new kanji right here. Do you happen to know it? Ochiru. Hi. What you do to fall? Can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo ga ochita. Hi, what does that mean? The thief fall. Yeah, perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Dare ka ga nani ka o nusunda kigatsuru. Hi. So I felt as if what? Sunda kiga tsuru. Nusunda kiga I felt still, st still. I felt that that someone steal something. Exactly. So I felt that someone stole something. Nice. And can you read the sentence for me? Nani ka ga hara ni ochiru. What does that mean? Something fall into the stomach. Yep, something will fall in my stomach. And our next kanji right here is soko. It, it does not mean place. This means bottom of something. Bottom. Uh, Normally, like, for example, if I have a container right here, it's not on the outside. It's normally on the inside. Hi. inside. This is the soto of the container. The soko or soto? A soko, soko, soko. Soko. Ko, ko, ko. Like soko, like when you're talking about a location that's far away from... You but close to the speaker. Say, say same pronunciation, different word. Probably has different rendaku. Um, sorry, pitch accent, not rendaku. But uh, can you read the sentence for me? Kokoro no soko kara aishiteru. Hi. So a lot of times you'll hear kokoro no soko kara, meaning from the bottom of my heart in Japanese. So right here is from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Aishiteru. Sentence. Hi. Um, our next word is namari, 
This is lead. No, I'm not here. And right here, I have the word subedu, which is to slide or to slip. So you can use o and ga with subedu. And the, the verb takes both. And the difference between these, you know, is intent. So if you slip down the stairs and you face plant, you probably didn't mean to do that. So you would use um, ga, right? However, if you're driving your race car and you need to get over the corner real fast and you're doing this like, you know, the car thingy that race car people do so that they can like slide with the car going sideways, then you would use O oh, because you're purposely making yourself slide. Similarly, if you're going on like rollerblades or something, that would also use O oh, with the sliding because you're sliding on purpose versus if you're sliding on accident. So if you slip, you'd use ga, but if you're doing it on purpose, you use O. Oh. So you see this pretty often, funnily enough, in, in very specific contexts. I see. Okay. So, namari no katamari. Do you remember what namari meant? Lead. Yep. Katamari means a lump. So a lump of lead. Namari no katamari. I... Katamari. No. Yeah, it's like a fun like thing to say. Namari no katamari. katamari. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> namari okay. katamari ga. Hi. Namari no katamari ga ochita oto ga kikoeru. Hi, kikoeru. Okay, so this say there's two ga. So, mm. so each ga is attached to its own verb, right? <laughs> Yes. So the first part say a lump of lead fall down. The the sound of a lump of lead fall down. Yes. I heard. Exactly. I heard the sound of a lump of lead falling or fell. Basically the bonk noise, right? Hi. Um here's another sentence for you to read. Jagaimo wa no do o suberu. Hi. So this is another way basically to talk about something you swallowed down your throat. So you're having the potato slide down your throat and you did intend this to some extent because you put the potato in your mouth and you went, Whoa. you went, go goody, right? You know, me komud it. So in context, we know it's sliding down the throat, but that's why we have a O here. So the potato slid down the throat. The down is insinuated by context and sliding in general is a downward motion versus an upward motion a little weird I, to say i slid up the throat <laughs> but in english we want to have that directional word so you just gotta throw it in there I, okay here's something else for you to read sore good guess this is actually so, one word so soda is it on its own but it does have a different reading when we end it with po. Close. Kara. Karapo. Karapo. Hi. Karapo no. Ka hare hara no koso. Not koso. What is ko. it? It's actually the opposite. Soko. 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 Hi. Soko. So what does karapo no hara no soko mean? At the bottom of the stomach. Empty. Yeah. The... The bottom of the empty stomach might be how we'd say this in English. We just would link bottom. those two together. Uh, but that's just to do how English works. The bottom of the stomach that is empty. Karapo. Karapo no hara no hara. That's cool. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's go read our line from the book. Jagaimo ga namari no katamari no yoni. Nodo, nodo o tsubete iki. Karappa, no, karappo no hara no soko ni Hai. ochiru oto ga kikoeta kigashita. Hi. So first off, is that half? Yes. The uh, jagaimo ga the potato. Namari no 
katamari no yo ni. Like a lump of lead. Um, do no do o subete iki. Um, slide it slide down the throat. Yep. So iki. in English, I would probably say went down my throat like a lump of lead. Uh, went. but in Japanese, it slid slid down the rope the the it's the throat down. like a lump of lead. Iki is that word to go, right? Like yes, it is to go away from you. So it's kind of idea is that he can no longer feel it. I suppose. He's not, hopefully, he's not going to throw it up soon. Hi, <laughs> karapo no hara no soko ni at the bottom of the empty stomach. Uh, it 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 goes into the bottom. No, no, this is a separate clause. So, at the bottom of an empty stomach, ochiru oto ga kikoeta kigashita. It feels like a sound. So, it, 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 like, kigasuru is not really, like, feels in that way. That'd be kanjiru. So, it feels like I heard is what it's like. It's like it's like you have a premonition. Almost. It feels like I heard something fall to the bottom of the empty stomach. Yes. And in this context, it probably is a jagaimono. So I feel like that jagaimono that I swallowed that felt like a lump of uh, coal in my neck, when it fell down to the bottom of my empty stomach and went boom, kind of. Made some kind of hollow noise. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, next kanji. Happen to know this guy? Korosu. Yep, korosu to kill. Can you read this sentence for me? Ore wa majutsu shi o korosu. I killed a magician. Exactly. Nice. So let's go. In hand. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I meant to do it. Um, let's let's go read our next sentence. Inochi o subawareru. Chu? I'm sorry. Ubawareru. Ubawareru. Don't help me, Mani. I just learned this word. Ubawareru. It's to steal, to steal the life. Yes. Okay. Madoseki ga ore o korosu de koto. The magical stone will kill kill me, ore o koros de koto. He's asking a question. This koto meaning. Is it is it the is it going to be that this stone is going to kill me? Kind of. Of a lot of times, um, tekoto is a kind of like a way to interpret something. So in here, it's almost like in other words. So he's translating what the guy said. He's kind of restating it. So tekoto is like. So what you mean is the magical stone is going to kill me oh, by so he... my life is being taken. So it comes from to iu koto. To iu koto. I see. And it's kind of used for defining of words or sentences. Um, like if I go to a dictionary in Japanese, I, they might define a word for me. They can say te koto. This is more likely if... Meaning. I'm not sure if in a dictionary that specifically would show up, but if you ask a human being to define a word, te to iu koto or te koto will show up. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think in a dictionary they 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 drop words you know they go like this is a and then they'll have just the sentence with it rather than having a complete sentence saying Bob means the man who killed Sam or something like that <laughs> that's mm -hmm. a really bad sentence but like uh, something you have toi koto will be digikama is short for digital camera that'd be a sentence if I said that in Japanese that would have tekoto in um side of it I see so, so it's a way to I... define the phrase. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? This kanji is to know something. Yep, to know. How is it pronounced? Um... Shiru. Shiru. Perfect. Shiru. 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 Do you happen to know how to conjugate shiru into without form, which means it's going to end with a zu? Siezu. Uh, also, uh, shiru is an uber, in case you didn't know. Uber. Shirizu. So she is your guess. Sadly, that is wrong. 
Um, you actually have to have it in nai form. Shiranai. Yep. Shiranai. Shirazu. Shirazu. Nice. Shirazu. Perfect. Okay. Can you read this word for me? Katate. This is on one hand. Katate. One handed. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Katate o poketo no naka ni suberi kome komase. Shirazu, shirazu. Ano mado seki o tori dashte ita. Hi. So this is basically its causative form right here. It just was kind of weird to teach it to you that way because that's not how we would say that in English. But basically, he makes his hand do this, which is a suberi komu into the pocket no naka. Komase. To me, to cause to make yeah, come suberi 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 suberi. It's a word we've the... seen a lot. Sly, sly, suberi, suberi. Okay, so he cause, he cause uh his hand to slide into the pocket. Uh, shirana, shirazu, shirazu. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it is what it's saying, but basically it means like unconsciously. Unconsciously. So Unconscious. kind of like not noticing. Shirazu, shirazu. So you kind of... Madoseki o tori dashite. Tori dashite. Tori, tori to grab, to grab hold. To take. Dashite. Dashite. It's come, it, it, it came to be. Uh Yes, to appear. To appear. So uh, um, I... I I caused the one hand to slide down into the pocket unconsciously and grab the magical stone. Yep, and I basically I grab it out of the pocket because I'm making it appear so everybody can see it. I so, took it out. Okay, yep. tori dashite. Perfect. Okay, kanji check. Do, 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 do. Um, how's this guy read? Ochiru. Hi, and this guy? Soko. Nice, and that guy? Karapo. Nice, perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Te no hira. So the hira of the te, the te is the front, you know, side of your hand. So this side, not the back side. So the front, so the pal palm, I think is what it's called in English. The palm side of your hand. The palm. Is the te no hira. Hai. Palm. Uh, can you read the sentence for me? Te no hira ni doka o oita. I place the coin in the palm of the hand. Yes. The coin was placed in the palm of the hand. Our next word is noseru. So noseru is another way to basically mention something being placed. It kind of tends to kind of take away control a little bit for, versus oku. Like oku is like you place it and it's just kind of like might be moved later. Noseru is kind of like something is sitting on something a little bit. Like you can say I place something, but noseru kind of has like a leaving it kind of feeling. Uh, for example, the magic tree house, the tree house and the tree is no seru inside of the tree. It's up in there. So that's another way to have something put in. So oku kind of means something has to be just put in just a couple seconds ago, kind of. I placed the dishes on the table, kind of. Well, no seru is like it's set upon the table. Hi. Uh, could you read the sentence for me? Te no hira ni doka o no seru. I set the coin in the palm of the hand. So it's kind of like saying, um, in the palm of the hand, the coins will be set. It's kind of like what it's saying. Uh, and it doesn't sen insinuate there's intent here. So it could be I, it could be somebody else, but I is definitely possible. I will set the coins in the palm of the hand. Um, next word is kakera. Kakera is a fragment of something. Any kind of fragment. Kakera. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Soko ni. Kura. Yeah, uh, close. It's actually the yami one. Yami. Kura also can mean dark. Uh, soko ni yami no kakera ga aru. Hai. Kakera ga, kakera ga. Kakera. I forgot. 
That's fragment. A fragment. A fragment. Kakera ga aru. Fragment of the shadow. Koko ni. Soko ni. Over there. Yep. A fragment of the shadow is over it's there. It's over there. Perfect. So, kuro guro, not kuro kuro, <laughs> kuro guro with the ten ten on the second one. This is um dark, 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 and it's a text to kuro kuro to, and you're modifying the verb. So, はい. let's go read our sentence. Te no hira ni no seta mado seki wa yami no nakera. Kakera no yo ni kuro guro to shite iru. Shite iru is to do something. Yep. It's doing. It's doing, doing dark dark. Kuro guro. Yeah. It's doing the dark dark. Yeah. Um, no yo ni, like a shadow, like a, a piece of a shadow. Okay, so this whole sentence say, um, he no hira ni no seta. The, the, the magical stone that was placed in the palm of the hand, um, like a fragment of a shadow, it, it's kiro, it's kuruguruing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's being darking. dark. It's, it's basically, being dark. it's being black. It's being, super, basically, it's a way to say it's super black, but it's saying it's doing the black. <laughs> So it's kind of funny in English. It's being but black. It's, it's just saying it's just black. It is doing the black. But yeah, basically yes. the magical stone that's in his hand is now super duper dark as if it is a fragment of darkness. But literally it's doing the black. It's doing a dance or something. Um, Can you read the sentence for me? These should be words we've seen in the past, but been a little bit. Chika chika to. Mabata ki. Mabataki o suru. Mabataki. Mabataki o suru. Maba is the eyelid? Yeah. Mabataki o suru. So we are doing the chika chika. So, so. To the mabataki. Uh, this means to blink. Hi. So chika chika um is a is the sat is kind of like the act of blinking. It's like it specifically it's a flashing type of thing. So a lot of things can chika chika, which can be light, can be eyes, and in this case, I just said I'm blinking in a flashing kind of way. So it just kind of insinuates that you're blinking a lot, kind of. So mabataki on its own could just be like one or two blinks, but we adding chika chika, it's like a lot of blinks at once. So mabataki is a verb, right? Yeah, um, mabataki it's a it's a noun. Suru. Mabataki on its own is a noun that is the act of blinking, I guess. And then you the add suru to make it into blinking to to blink. It's just kind of funny on Japanese. There's a lot of um words that are like the act of something, and you have to add suru. To Why couldn't they just say mabataku? I have no idea. <laughs> they had to turn it into the noun form, and then they put the suru on it. <laughs> funny words. Um, so uh, we're actually going to end right here so that Hi. this next section will be all nice and together. It's one minute, so it's like, hmm, have enough time to learn real from the old Hi. <laughs> okay, so any questions before we go? No question. Nice. Great lesson. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Manny.